About a week ago, the Department of Health and Human Services made this huge cut. They eliminated around 10,000 jobs. And we also saw senior leaders laid off or put up for reassignment. And these were folks who led departments at the National Institutes of Health and the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and the Food and Drug Administration. So those are some big, important agencies. What do we imagine the effect of losing 10,000 people will be? Well, we don't know all of it yet, but it is pretty chaotic at the moment. So there are reports out of the CDC that employees that were cut used to run labs that test antibiotic resistance. There was a team that determines recall calls for dangerous baby products that was cut. The CDC also runs these really key labs that coordinate flu and polio responses globally, and the effects in those labs are really still unclear. And at the FDA, it's no better. They look after the safety of food and drugs, so it's not great to have experts being cut there either. And these cuts are not just wide, but very deep. There are long-running studies that have no one to continue them. So things like the National Survey on Drug Use and Health This has tracked substance use and mental health for more than 50 years, and it's this critical tool that we use in the U.S. to understand issues like the opioid crisis, which the Trump administration has said is something they want to focus on fighting. So it's really hard to understand why you would want to lose something like that survey. 